32 grams of ecstasy. Enjoy it. Prove the city. Christmas time. Oh, I spent all my money on shit. Look, I bought this Santa suit. <laughs> I am the new Santa Claus. Got his face smashed in. That's good. Ah, here we go. That wasn't your name last time, was it? Derek? Or something else? Cooper or some shit. Derek reviewing notes on the murder of Mr. Moore. He was heading to the police station to interrogate the suspects. The victim was Mr. Moore, a very powerful billionaire. He was shot square in the forehead around 11pm the previous day. Mr. Moore had three sons, Bob, Jack and John, who were possible suspects. The, these sons were strapped for money, so each had a motive for killing Mr. Moore. You bastard father, you never gave me my Christmas gift. You never gave me my toy, my toy cow. <laughs> Uh, Jack wanted a moustache comb. Uh, Jill wanted a new tie. Derek wants a new nose. As Derek entered the police station, he was led to the interrogation room. We met two of the sons, Bob and Jack. Get a new tie. Hi, Jack. I decided to hang out with old man. My dad, Jack, I went to a restaurant about 15 minutes away. We came back around 11. We entered the mansion. John, out of nowhere, started running toward the mansion. It started Jack and me. But my dad hadn't noticed because he was drunk. When I noticed John had gun, I tried to warn my dad, but John shot him before my dad could even turn around and look at him. Shame he didn't shoot you as well. Next, mustache man. Jack, do you confirm his testimony? Yes! Because you have lied to me. You two are both prime suspects in the murder of Mr. Moore. You lie. So, the other guy's innocent. How Derek, no, Jack, Bob were lying. We're not involved in the murder. Let's see, shall we? So, is this the other, what's his name? Jack and Jill here. And that was Bob. Yes, Bob. As Derek entered the police station, he was led to the interrogation when we met two of his sons, Bob and Jack. He heard out their testimonies. It's probably to do with the shit I haven't even looked at. All this crap here. 11 p.m. Right, 11 p.m. They're strapped for money. They're broke. They've got no money. Right, 11 p.m. They've both got no money. You came back around 11. Who the hell are you? Is this Bob? Oh, this is Bob. He was shot in the front of the head, wasn't he? Yeah, he was shot in the forehead. I remember that. And this guy said he was shot in the back of the head. So forehead, look. Oh, where's that part? Where's the forehead part? Back off more, Mr. White. Square in the forehead. That's how he knew. He shot square in the forehead. So that's my thing. Square in the forehead. Am I right? Yes, I am. Square in the forehead. Wonderful. We have two murderers here. Which one shot him? Who shot him? Who's the actual murderer? The two confessed to the murder. What, did you both hold the gun? You both pulled the trigger at the same time. Which one shot him? I say it was Mustache Man. Yes, it was Mustache Man. Well, that was an easy one. Bit too easy. Bit lame.
Yeah, man, I wonder why they lie, though. Why did they say he didn't turn around? Why not say he turned around and was shot in their face? Is that the only evidence? One little wrong remark. And what, did this guy memorise the whole thing? He memorised the whole thing, then. Is that what they do? The police? I don't think so. I suppose they should do that. Memorise the whole thing. All the details, then as soon as someone slips up, you know straight away. Yeah. Well, that was easy.